Okay, in this video we're going to look at turning points or they are sometimes referred to stationary points. So if you have a look at this one here, this is a minimum turning point. So on this graph, the graph is a red bit. Uh, you can see it has a minimum. So clearly it has a, a bottom part of it here, which is going to be the minimum. Now if you look just before it, I've drawn on, they've drawn on two tangents here. Before you get to the minimum, there is a negative tangent so a tangent has a negative gradient I should say and then after the minimum there is a positive gradient but at the minimum point the gradient is zero if you imagine if I drew a line here just touching the bottom of this thing the minimum value it would be a horizontal line and it would be so dy by dx or your gradient function would be equal to zero now there's a strange thing that happens here and it is if you're uh, if you differentiate again, we talked about earlier on, we talked about our second derivatives, and now we're going to see the actual function or purpose for these things. If you differentiate again and get your d2y by dx squared, at the minimum, at the minimum point, your d2y by dx squared will be greater than zero. Now, that's one of those weird things in mathematics where it's sort of the opposite of what you would think it would be. So it's minimum, but it's actually greater than zero is for the uh, when it's at the minimum now if we look at the maximum uh, here we have a clearly a maximum point you can see there's a, a peak here and just before you get to the maximum point the gradient is positive then it levels off so again dy by dx or your gradient is zero here and then it has a negative gradient again and again at that maximum point again it's a, the weird thing in mathematics d2y by dx squared is less than zero at a maximum. So at a minimum, d2y by dx squared is greater than zero. At a maximum, d2y by dx squared is less than zero. So it's a strange, strange thing, but uh, we just have to go with it. Okay, um, so the method for finding a turning point or a stationary point is you differentiate the function to find dy by dx, then you set or you put dy by dx equal to zero and solve how to find uh, to find x and then you substitute back into the original function to find the corresponding y value and you check the second differential or second derivative to see what type of turning point it is so to see if it's positive or maximum or minimum I should say okay uh, I've gone through that very quickly but we're going to look at an example of how we can use this in a wee minute uh, so we'll just do we'll do this one here and then we'll come back uh, and look at those ones so, uh, if we look at this one here, it says find a coordinates, coordinate of the turning point of the curve y is equal to uh, 3x squared minus 10x plus 5 and classify it. So here, first thing I'm going to do, if, so it says, if it says any of the following words, you must, you really should be thinking about differentiating. If you hear tangent, if you hear normal, if you hear gradient, if you hear maximum, if you hear minimum, if you hear stationary point or turning point or stationary point, then you will be thinking, I've got to differentiate, I've got to find dy by dx. So here, first thing I want to do is say dy by dx, and I find my dy by dx, and my dy by dx is going to be 6x minus 10. Then what I want to do is put dy by dx equal to 0, which means 0 is equal to 6x minus 10. We better rearranging ask me six ten is equal to six x. Uh, so that means ten divided by six is equal to x. Not too pretty. That's changed up to five over three is equal to x. And again, we can make out a mixed number that's one and two thirds. And it says find the coordinates of the turning point. So I'm going to find the corresponding y value. So just say when x equals one and two thirds y is equal to 3 upon 1 and 2 thirds squared minus 10 times 1 and 2 thirds plus 5. So y is equal to, and that for me worked out to be minus 3 and 1 third. Okay, now the big mistake people would make, would they would write that down, like, just think that's your answer, write that as a coordinate and that's your answer. You've got to differentiate again, you've got to find your d2y by dx squared and see, see what it is, if it's positive or negative. So d2y by dx squared, how you get your d2y by dx squared, remember, is you differentiate your dy by dx again. So if you differentiate 6x minus 10, 
what you're going to get is 6. Now 6 is greater than 0, therefore it's a minimum, sorry, minimum, and you say TP, and that's standard practice to write that TP, turning point, minimum turning point. So your answer is just write it in a coordinate form, 1 and 2 thirds, and then the other Y value is minus 3 and 1 third is a minimum if I can spell minimum uh, turning point and that's it okay I'm going to go back up and talk through what they had up here now let's just look at this one sorry what we had this is a positive quadratic so really if you think about what a positive quadratic is it's a u-shaped graph so it had to be a minimum turning point really if it had any stationary points at all so any points at all where the gradient is you imagine if I drawn on my uh, tangent here well just imagine that's touching and no more uh, that had to be a minimum a turning point uh, but it's not good enough just to say it is a minimum point a turning point you have to show you this uh, do this first that's why I showed you this first before drawing the graph okay but it gives you an idea if you're, if you're right or wrong so for a, there's a sorry there's a positive quadratic a positive quadratic will only have a, a minimum so if you work it out and you find a maximum you've done something wrong likewise this is a negative quadratic and if you worked out and found it had a minimum you've definitely done something wrong a, a negative quadratic can only have a maximum but if we look at a cubic for example a cubic function here we have a negative cubic and it's going to it's going to have a negative sorry it's going to have a minimum and it's going to have a maximum turning point as well uh, so sometimes it won't have have either of those but um, or some it will have a, a different thing which we'll not see in GCSE mathematics GCSE further mathematics uh, but generally that's the shape it's going to be so here uh, this is a negative quadratic and it can only have a maximum this is a positive quadratic it can only have a minimum but a cubic generally will have a minimum and a maximum Okay, folks, you're now ready to do exercise 8A.